Hey, it's Joel from The Garage, and yes, you're going to be seeing more episodes from The Garage. In this day and age, we're having to shelter at home, self-isolate, and keep a socially acceptable six feet in between each other. Corona, Corona. But as a fan of high fives, I find that discouraging because I do get my energy from giving out the high fives. And so thankfully, a friend designed and we 3D printed the five guard. You want to see how we did it? You want to print it yourself? Let's do it right here on 3D Printing Nerd. There you are. Welcome back. We're still in the garage and we're preparing some cool prints to show off on the Raise 3D E2. Remember we did that episode not that long ago where we took it out of the box to kind of get a first impression of it and I had people fill out a form telling me what prints to make. We're currently finalizing that and that should be out soon. But one of the prints that I wanted to do on this machine is something that I wanted to highlight just on its own because the story behind it is so cool. Not that long ago, Joe Mike posted on Twitter, worried about me because I give everybody a high five. And he said, oh no, with what's going on right now, is Joel just gonna be stuck high-fiving robots? And I said, no, don't worry, my buddy Nick, who you know is Bugman140 on the Twitters, is putting together something to keep my high five safe. And he came up with something called the high five guard let me show you. The High Five Guard consists of two parts. There's a holster that attaches to your belt, and there's the High Five Guard itself. The thing that sits over your hand and keeps you safe. Let's first take a look at the holster. The holster is printed in Polymaker's Polymax PC, and that was printed at 0.2 millimeter layers with two and a half shells. The infill was set to 15% and it was a gyroid type. There was no support. Cooling was set to 50% fan speed as of layer two. And for the temps, we had 110 C on the build plate and 260 C at the nozzle. Speeds were 60 millimeters per sec, but were adjusted depending on what the print head was doing. Now let's get it off that build plate. It's a removable build plate so we can take it off and just have a look at it. And wow, that, that is, that is amazing. Look at that. I put on a little bit of that Vision Miner nanopolymer adhesive just to keep the PC on the build plate really good. Let's crack it off, ready? Oh, look at that. Wow. <laughs> oh, geez. There's the bottom. Oh, it looked like right, right there. You can kind of see it right there. And there's a little, little piece of uh, filament that got stuck. Beyond that though, this, wow, this is an amazing print. It's so smooth. The sidewalls look really good. All right, we've got the holster. Let's move on to the actual High Five Guard. The next one was printed in my Protopasta High Five Blue. The guard itself was printed in Protopasta's Hi5 Blue HTPLA, you know, my filament. It had 0.2 millimeter layers with three shells. The infill was set to 15% and it was of a cubic type. There was no support. Cooling was set to 10% fan speed as of layer five. I found that if the fan speed was any higher than this, then the HTPLA could jam, and so I just turned the fan down and we were good to go. Temperature is 60C on the build plate. I did 210C on the nozzle. Speeds were at 60 millimeters per second, but could be adjusted depending on what the print head was doing. Ah, uh, let's get it off that build plate. So you know that build plate is removable, and wow, okay. And you know, I like a good quality print. That is a good quality print, jeez, and then, it would just fit, just like that. Just like that, okay. This is fantastic. Uh, nanopolymer adhesive on this build tack as well. Let's get it off the build plate. <laughs> Look at that. It turned out, oh, that's so good. The five guard. A little small for my fingers, but whatever. Ooh. Okay, wow, this, wow, this is a quality print. Look at that. Look at that side that was on the build tack. That looks really good. Wow, the sidewalls are nearly perfect. These are good too. Uh, all right, let's, let's put them together and see if it works. We've got both of the pieces right now. This is the Polymax uh, PC. Polymax PC printed on the Ray's 3D E2. And then here's the High Five Blue that was printed. And <laughs> they fit together really, really well. And the idea being, this is the holster. 
and then you can take it out and you've got your five guard. You could put it back. I think this will fit my belt. Let's get it on. I've got my mic pack right here. So I got to move that, put it over here in the other pocket. And then uh, we got this. All right, Sean, fast forward a little bit. <laughs> Look at that. Here, just so you can see it. There's the holster. There we go. So I'm just minding my own business, just walking, and then high five. <laughs> that was fantastic. So you can just kind of, you can just kind of be like, well, here, so holster it up, right? And you know, you're a social person and you, you wanna still maintain that social, uh, that was it, that social distance, that distance between people, stay six feet apart, right? I figure my arm, I got about three feet right there. Okay, someone has one of those. That's six feet, we can get six feet. Six foot high fives. Seriously though, I mean, the quality on that's pretty good. Look at that. There's the focus, there's the go. The five guard, it came out great. Nick did a great job. Oh, you know, these are trying times and uh, it's unfortunate that we're all gonna be, or are supposed to be practicing staying home and, and, and uh, home isolation. But hopefully I'll be able to showcase all sorts of really cool projects that you can do at home and fun prints that you can do, such as this. A big thanks to Nick. You know, as Bugman140, you can follow him on the Twitters. This model is fantastic. It fits exceptionally well. Uh, the only thing that I might suggest in the future is creating some sort of guide, because as you can tell, this, uh, my hand is bigger than this and my fingers are bigger, so they don't, uh, they don't fit perfectly well. You know, I, would, I need something that kind of covers the whole hand. So maybe, maybe being able to increase the ring size right here, that might do it. But for now, I think that's good. I almost forgot to mention, there will be a link in the description where you yourself can get this file. Nick made it available on prusaprinters.org. I highly suggest heading over there and printing that or, I don't know, something else. You've got some time at home? Print all the things. Listen, thanks for watching, and if you made it this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to wash your hands, because I love you all, and as always, high five.